I've had messages before on Instagram, I'm sure you have as well, where people have asked, like, how are you supposed to make friends in the gay community? Because the lines can be so blurred because someone might think you're hitting on them. Because mm. obviously, especially if you're ma a gay man making friends with another gay man, naturally there could be attraction there. Or maybe one of them, one of you has feelings and the other one doesn't. And um, and even if you are just friends, then what if something still happens and you, you have like a friends with benefits thing? Or what if you get rejected by a friendship group because they're like, oh, you're not attractive enough to be in our group or you're, you're not like... Well, those people you don't want to be friends no. with. No. Well, you don't. And those are the answers that we'll, we'll come to. That These are not things that I've said. These are things that oh, I've no. heard people say. See me get, I can I, make friends with anyone. See me get fuming. Yeah. <laughs> don't be friends with those people. Don't be friends. Well, Sorry. no, you shouldn't. That's ridiculous. The cliqueiness of the gay community can be really, really bad. Clique? Yeah. Click. The click. I'd say clique. Almost because you're French. Would you say a, would you say a rem as well rather rem. than reams? Keegan and I met someone at a, a wedding and she was amazing. She loved champagne and she pronounced everything with a French accent, including even, rem. Yeah, even though she spoke with a very distinctive English accent. Yeah. She would then say, and we, we went away, we went to rem. And we were like, what? And she was like, oh, you might know it as reams. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, the clickiness, cliqueiness the of clickiness. the gays. How do you make friends, Keegan? Not you personally, but how would you? <laughs> or how do you personally? Um, well, I think... So the, the will automatically be someone sat there screaming at this, going, why do you need gay friends? Yeah. The friends don't have to be gay. And they don't. And I don't. No. I, you know, I've, I, don't, I, I don't have loads. Of, I don't have a lot of gay friends. But I do think it is important to have some because, again... It's that sense of lived, shared, lived experience. Yeah. Um, being able to, like you said, mm. that relatability. Yeah. Um, you know, two of my friends have been in a uh, healthy, you know, monogamous relationship for 15 years. Mm. And that's been, uh, you know, that's something that I would like to mm. uh, have. And so I think uh, with, me. Uh, uh, with you, Joel, yes, with you. I thought that go that went without saying. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, not with you. I'm like, I, I give it another year. Um, you know, and I think it's obviously we do things at different times in our lives and at different ages, but it's nice to have frameworks to, yeah. to, uses a reference certainly at least a reference point yeah. and just what are other people struggling with how are they working mm. around things having people who understand that because you know sometimes people you know don't straight people don't get it yeah um and i think it is important to have that so but i, I think i think yeah. the principles for making friends whether they be gay or straight are, are the same yeah that they should be people who are in line with your values yeah that you share interests with mm. that support you and also challenge you yeah and can i also just say sorry it's rewinding a little bit like most things on this podcast balance is the healthiest thing and i also think it's not healthy i know loads of gay people that only have gay friends yeah they don't have any straight friends and i think that's really unhealthy yeah in the yeah, same I way agree. that as a gay man if you've only got straight friends i think that can also be unhealthy like yeah uh, but i just think it a lot of gays it seems like there's almost two camps. There are there are a lot of gays out there who feel lonely and they want to make more friends in the gay community. And then there are the, there are the others who only have gay friends and they their their perception gets a bit distorted. Yeah, but then we're playing fast and loose with the word friends. Because I don't yeah. think you can have like, I just nearly said Rolodex. And like, I'm not even that old. A Rolodex a full. Rolodex a Rolodex full. Rolodex. Like, uh, you know, a contact list full yeah. of people like, friends like any relationship a friendship takes time and yeah. effort to cultivate and grow and you mm. have to work on it and there's yeah you have to keep and you can't do that with 300 okay. people no so they become acquaintances and then it get, that can feel really lonely i think yeah. be that person who knows everybody yeah but who's their best who's their best friend yeah who's who are, who do they hang around with mm. who do they go away with who do they you yeah. know who are they going on to to dinner with yeah um regularly mm. and and i think i think that's a, th a, a can tie into things with making friends in the gay communities that people often worry about getting hurt and mm. and being 
you know, being vulnerable because you yeah. do need vulnerability in, in a relationship, don't you? In a, in, in mm. a, and in a friendship, get, yeah. f- formulate words. And I think sometimes it's a case of getting yeah. too close and, you know, our people, people can be, f- people generally can be fickle. Yeah. But certainly we can as gay, mm. like the gay community can be fickle. 